Hey guys, I am here. Um, this is it. Um, I am all packed, ready to go. I leave first thing tomorrow morning. I have to wake up at 5, so I better get head to bed soon. But um, I have a little bit of a haul for you guys, and I wanted to talk to you guys and, you know, um, have some news for you also. I decided to extend my giveaway, mainly because once the giveaway is over, I have to you know, tell and tell the winners and that might take a while so I just figured the giveaway now ends till July 31st. So right now I will have it right down here. July 31st is the new deadline for the giveaway. Um, yeah, rules are basically, if you guys don't know, if you guys are just watching this for the first time, um, go to my other video which will be the giveaway video I will link down below um, and it will just tell you, and I'll uh, say it again, you have to be, you know, if you're under 18, there's no age limit, you can be under 18 as long as you get approval from your parents, you have to live in the U.S., and just leave a comment in the comments below in that video, not this video, um, saying what your favorite bath product you cannot live without, and then start it with Enter Me. So just do Enter Me, and then it'll be like, my favorite bath product is a bath bomb or something from Lush. Let's go ahead and get started into the haul drugstore. Um, this has been getting a lot of attention recently and I really wanted to try it because these products are huge on the market now and I really wanted to try it out because I actually tried the Clinique version of it and it broke me out. I had a sample of it and it broke me out so I decided to try a drugstore brand. This is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector and it is SPF 30 and that's awesome because I need that. So this is what it looks like. It's just a little container, and you can. I picked this up at my CVS. I went to Rite Aid and I went to um, Ulta before, and they didn't have it. So I don't know, you know, if Ulta, that Ulta near you has it. Just for me, it was a little difficult to find. But I got the shade light medium sheer tint. Now, if you guys don't know or not familiar with BB creams, BB creams are just a base, um, just to even out your skin tone, your complexion. Um, not really coverage, it's more just a sheer base, um, usually because what I'm doing these days is I just put this on, uh, work it into my skin, apply some concealer and powder, and I'm set to go. That's all I really need, and this really feels like you have no makeup on, and it's great, so definitely check this out. The other thing I got, um, I bought something at Sephora, and it's all packed away, but it was the Giorgio Armani Perfume. Um, Aqua de Joya. I got like a little bottle of it and for I will um, I'll probably do be doing videos in Florida for you guys so don't assume that I'm not going to just stop making videos um, but I got this little sample size of the Clinique Pore Refining Solutions since I was um, a club member or something at Sephora and this is what the this is what the sample looks like I used it today and um, this is supposed to like minimize the appearance of pores over like two weeks. Um, I don't have like huge pores, but you know sometimes like I just I kind of want them just to be unnoticed. So um, I've tried it. It's just a clear serum. It's nothing really. Um, it's just like a clear serum. It's nothing really special. But I'll let you guys know if I see any difference within the next week or so. Okay, then I went to Ulta and I got three things. Um, all NYX because I love NYX. Um, I got two lipsticks. I got the lipstick Fusion, which is this color like a juicy, juicy, um, this pink, like magenta ish pink color. I'll swatch it for you. I think the NYX lipsticks are so worth it. I really do. Yeah, it's really pretty. Really nice evening lip. And then the other one I got is Strawberry Milk, which I thought was a good daytime color. Just a very nice light pink. See you guys, there it is. Like, it's really nice. Um, if you guys are looking for a good lipstick, I definitely recommend the NYX brand. I got an eyeliner because I love their eyeliners. This is the Retractable Eyeliner in Bronze. So I thought this would look really pretty with, like, a gold lid color. So that's what bronze looks like. It's just a basic, you know, brown color. The MAC um, Heavenly Creatures collection. And I saw a video on these and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. 
and I was going to buy the highlighter, but I didn't. Um, it was like $30. But it's such a big container that it looks like it'll last literally forever. So, because you don't need that much. So, but I only got two eyeshadows. The first one I got was Bright Moon. I'm not going to swatch it because I still want it to be pretty. Um, it's this beautiful, ooh, this blue and silver and like, like purple tones. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's usually not an eyeshadow color I would gravitate towards because I prefer like bronzy and browns and more natural tones. And then the other one I got was called Invisible Light, which is something a little bit in my realm. Um, this is like a like a pinky golden color, which is really pretty. They had so many to choose from. Um, they were all gorgeous. Like, I would have bought in all of them if I could, but obviously that's really expensive, so couldn't do that. But I would love to pick up um, a couple more of these and maybe the highlighter. So, um, yeah. And then the last place I went to was Lush because I wanted to pick up um, a repurchase of something, try something new, and try another thing out. But the first thing that I got was um, something that I've seen reviews on on Lush.com, I've seen reviews on in YouTube, and I decided to try it for myself. This is the Almond and Coconut Shower Smoothie. And it comes in this little jar. And this was, I think, $20. So it's pretty expensive, but I heard it's really good for moisturizing your skin, which I'm all for. I love it. So I have, I did use it, ooh, I did use it um, today. And, no, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And um, I, you could obviously see my finger marks. Oh, this smells good. Like, it doesn't smell like coconuts, but it has an almond sweetness to it. Um, this is a really moisturizing shower gel. What I did with this shower smoothie, um, what I did with this is what I took a little scoop, as obviously you can see, and I pushed it into my scrunchie and then made it lather up into a, like a like a foam really, and then I worked it into my bot into my skin. This is really moisturizing. It's a very thick cream, like you can tell on um, this isn't moving. Um, and I also heard it's good as a shaving cream. And the other thing I got was something that I have purchased a sample size of and fallen completely in love with it, even though the price tag is a little high. Um, Lush uh, has a new product out. It's called Rose Argan Body Conditioner. And at first I wasn't too crazy about it because I was like, it's just a moisturizer, really. It's like, you know, it's, it's I, okay, I guess. But when I went to Lush one time, the sales associate did a demonstration on my hand and I was like, wow, this stuff is amazing. And they had little sample pots of it that were for like five bucks. And so I decided, I was like, you know what, I'll try it. And if I really love it, I'll buy the full pot. And I have the full pot because I'm crazy. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. This is $30. Um, it's pretty expensive. Um, but what a body conditioner is, is basically... I, when I tried it the first time, basically I did all the stuff that I did in the shower. After I was done, I got out of the stream of the shower and, gent and got a scoop of this and gently worked it into my skin for a few minutes, just gently rubbing it in, making sure that, you know, my skin is actually drinking it up. Then after like a minute or two, gently rub off, just gently, don't like scrub it off, but gently just wash the product off your skin and then turn the shower off and pat yourself dry with a towel. Your skin will feel so smooth, so soft, and so, it'll smell so good. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, this stuff will stay on your skin all day. I'm not even kidding. Um, this is also a very thick, ooh, this is also a very thick consistency. Um, it smells like flowers, but it smells like sweet too like it's not overbearingly both like it's floral and it's sweet at the same time so if you guys um i don't know if they still have the sample size but definitely go to your lush store and ask if they can do a demonstration because everyone who works there is more than kind they are so helpful they know what they're talking about and they they probably love doing demonstrations like that's their job so Ask them to do a demonstration on this for you. They'll do it on your hand and your upper arm, and it will feel, and oh my gosh, makes your skin feel so soft and so smooth, 
I love this stuff. And this is a new bath bomb from their collection. This is called Phoenix Rising. And it's a gold and purple bath bomb. And it's really glittery. And it smells like apple cinnamon. It smells really good, actually. And if you guys don't know what a bath bomb is, um, you fill your tub up, drop this in, and it fizzes, and it changes your water different colors. And I'm guessing that one changes purple and gold. And she says it's really, really, really cool. I went to Forever 21 and picked up two things. Um, and the two things that I got, I am in love with. Uh, the first thing that I got was, bam, these shoes, these ankle uh, booties that have a really high heel to them, but they are so cute. Um, they would go with anything, really. I am so excited to try these out. I'm not bringing them with me, actually, unfortunately, but um, yeah, like I can't walk around in the park with these. Like I'll kill myself. But um, yeah, just thought I'd show you guys this very cute shoe. If you guys want me to do outfits of the day, I will be more than happy to. Um, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll just put it there. Ooh. And for my top, I have been obsessed with like this Peter Pan collar. It's so cute. Look at that! It's so adorable. I love it so much. It's just this basic little tunic top with the little Peter Pan collar with the floral details. And then in the back, it's just got the little opening, like the teardrop opening, and it's got a little button. So, yeah, I just thought that was so adorable. I could not resist. I was like, I have to get this. But, yeah, that is my haul today for you guys. Um, also, a reminder, my giveaway ends now till July 31st, so don't forget. Um... Yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and thank you so much for watching my videos. Bye!